Hey guys, welcome to a Unity 2019 tutorial and this will be available in versions below and versions above what I'm going to talk about now and it's I've curated a whole list of fantastic free assets that, that everybody should import into a new project when you start something in Unity. So you can find this and I'll link it in the description and I will go through all the assets that I think you should get and I will start off with the first one which is going to be the player preferences editor and utilities and the player preference editor and utilities has a little editor UI which you can bring out if you go window and you go to player preferences editor it will bring up a little box which allow you to easily see player preferences if you save any settings for brightness or controller sensitivity you can save this in here and it's an easy way without you having to sort of call this back in a debug.log or something within your code you can see it at a glance and it'll save you an awful lot of time and you can even add different keys import and do a lot of things from there the next one is something called naughty attributes and this is something which adds a whole host of different extensions to the unity editor which will allow you to have different attributes to really add custom inspectors it will add sliders reordable lists custom buttons custom drop downs reordable text sizes serialized field native properties read only fields enabled and disabled show asset previews a progress bar different labels tags you can show and hide different elements it has a whole bunch of fantastic attributes that will really extend your use of programming and make your inspectors much easier to work with and the next one is the first person all-in-one prefab which is an FPS controller which includes a whole host of settings for basic FPS controller which includes a sprinting dialogue that you can see from the bottom jumping uh, sort of attributes and being able to do that with a, a ground hit when you do it a whole bunch of settings for that with custom sounds for loads of different things which include mud brass dirt and more you can see that the prefab over here has a whole setup for changing sensitivities smoothing allow you to actually enable player movement with walking speeds you can change the head bobbing and enable jump and movement and you can adjust all the sound clips on there so it's a great start to any sort of FPS game you might have. The next one is something called the scene manager utility and you can see it over in this left hand corner you can see which is very similar to the player preference editor which easily allows you to see all the scenes in your current project and you can see that with my scene that I've got here from my free asset the speed shoot test scene you can see that I can build it play close and delete and all the other scenes that I've got in my project at this moment so we can choose to click on one of these and play them into our project file and find exactly where all the scenes would be hiding. It saves you all those simple seconds that'll take you minutes in your lifetime and even hours when you've got to search through lots and lots of folders and files. The next one is something called Take Note and this is something that you can see on this top corner is as it suggests it allows you to take notes within your game and within the Unity editor. Somebody has been reported that it does get a little bit slow when you've got a lot of different notes but if you're wanting something directly in the editor which is free you can just click on the little button down here. We can create a task, we can say hello all and we can add details to this. We can just press the little tick and you can see that that's my new item. We can colour code this by clicking on the edit and we can say that we want to colorize, change the color and maybe change this to a blue and we will apply and we see we've got different colors for stuff that might be of different levels of priority and then when you complete it you can just click the little plus and say that we can remove or I'll say our completed and it'll move into our completed section so we can see exactly what we've done in the past and exactly what things we might need to fix in the future and now another one of my favorites play right now you can see that this is the graphy ultimate FPS counter and debug sort of system and it shows a basic view down in the bottom that you can see here that I've got the stats of my current computer so you can see and it gives us a basic um, FPS counter with a graph you can see how many F how much FPS you're in and how much memory you've allocated to your application and with the graphy editor it has a whole custom inspector where you can customize every little ingrained detail of this uh, asset so you can 
change the colors, you can change the layout, you can get rid of different sections if you don't want to actually see the bottom corner which shows what system you've got, you can get rid of this, you can chop out, you don't want to see audio or RAM, you can customize this as you want. So it's a really easy way, a nice visual asset which really can take you a long way in your debugging purposes. Next one is something called Empty at Zero and I've featured this one before and this is a nice little one which most of the time if I'm trying to organize my scene and I'm in the hierarchy I can right click and I can usually create an empty game object so I can hide stuff in there so it acts as a little folder. Now it'll have transform transform values of it won't be specifically at zero on the x y and z axes so that's bad sometimes if we're going to put objects and make objects children of them because they can inherit the actual position of that game object sometimes so what this asset allows us to do is if we right click in the hierarchy again we can click uh, create empty at zero so it creates an empty game object with zero 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 without ha us having to actually rewrite those values and similarly you can go game object and create empty and create empty as a child so it just allows you yet again to save those seconds and it will save you in the long run so probably uh, is a, a create little asset if you want to quickly prototype basic and advanced geometry right inside unity without any barriers to entry and it has a custom uv mapping system which allows you to uv map within unity without you having to take it to an external 3d program and you can see when pro builders open we can choose to create a new shape which might be say our cube we can go by any sort of selection we can go by edge selection select our edge and we can move this up and we can create custom levels of geometry really easily from the edges that we might want to select and because I'm using another asset called um, actual pro grids that I'm actually snapping specifically to set angles so we can easily adjust edit scale extrude and do a load of cool things in a 3d space which allows you to edit the UVs do vertex coloring do actual specific things like setting colliders on the object triangulating the mesh doing the light mapping UV, centering the privet, flipping the normals, doing all the things that you would expect to do within an, anything that you would like, just like extruding the edges on the asset. If we select to select a face and we choose to extrude the face, we can do all cool things like exactly like that. And it's just a fantastic way to get everything started in your, in your scene. And similar to one well, along with this, we have got, I've got one called, and one that was also bought out by Unity called ProGrids. And ProGrids has a little UI that pops up in the top left and it allows us to essentially create a grid for snapping in Unity. So you can see that when I've got my selection of my object on here, I can move it around in increments. And I could set the increment in the top to a larger one like five, set that to done. And you can see that as I don't have to click anything on my keyboard to do it, but we can easily snap the object around the scene really easily it has controls for um, X Y and Z snapping different snapping to locking it to a particular position you can also specifically set the grid so you can snap all objects to your visible grid so if you need everything on the floor which you've selected you can do that and last but not least is one of my absolute favorites and it is the post processing volume version 2.2.2 which is in this current version and these are the ones that you can find on unity github or you can find it on the asset manager for unity 2 2019 and above and it has all the great post-processing effects that you expect to see including your ambient occlusion, auto exposure, bloom, color grading, vignette and motion but along with many more and I just did some weird effects on some of the post-processing that you can see in my scene and you can go and create any sort of style that you wish with the actual effects that are included in there so be sure to check out all these awesome free assets I'll leave all the links in the description and the link to this whole package and these will take you a long way to saving you time effort and everything that you choose to do daily in unity so take a look at these thank all the developers for creating all these fantastic fantastic assets for free and be sure to check out any of my great assets on the unity store and I did set up a patreon recently and if you're looking to support the channel and help me keep all this content absolutely free please go ahead and take a look in unity 2019 you can go to window and you can go to package manager and you can find most of these effects that you won't be able to find on the store including pro grids pro builder post-processing and more. You will find them for the older versions on the store, but for 2019 and above, you will need to get them directly from the package manager inside of Unity. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.